Hi boys and girls, this is Preacher Leon uh, with Story Time. We got a great uh, story for you today. Uh, and uh, in fact, I've got a great book here. It says Laugh and Grow, Bible for Kids. Uh, Miss Cindy came up with this book here and I, I really like it. I think you're gonna enjoy this. Uh, let me share with you this story here. In the beginning, there was God, just God, nothing else. No trees like you're seeing here, no hummingbirds. Do you have hummingbirds in your yard? No whales. Have you ever seen a whale? Miss Cindy and I, we, we went to Hawaii one time and uh, to Maui and we saw so many whales and we've got videos of that. It's, they're such a magnificent animal, but they weren't even created. No ants. You might say that's a pretty good thing, no ants. No stars. Can you imagine having, not having stars at night? No galaxies. No mountains. Uh, no bats, no kids, no grown-ups, no grandmas and grandpas, no caterpillars. Have you ever caught a caterpillar? No lakes, no oceans, no horses, no elephants, and no frogs. Not even little ones, just God. You might think he was lonely and all that nothingness, but God wasn't lonely. Because God wasn't alone. You see, God is like us in some ways. He thinks, he feels, he acts. But in other ways, he's very, very different from us. God is everywhere. He knows everything. He is never wrong, ever. And no other way God, and one, and, and one other way God is different. And this one's pretty tricky, boys and girls. God is more than one. There's one God, but there are three persons in God. God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Three persons in one God. <clears throat> I told you it was kind of tricky. And that's why God wasn't lonely, because he wasn't alone. There's love within God. There's friendship within God. There's family within God. So one day, God decided he wanted to make the universe. He said, it's time for us to begin. And just like that, boys and girls, he started making stuff. Why? Because it made him happy. God made shining stars and big, a big burning sun. He spun galaxies and solar systems and planets then he picked one particular plant and he said, watch this. And what? Just like that. He made mountains, he made oceans, he made lakes, he made streams. He made plants to grow. Tiny little leafy ones, smaller than a pebble. And he made big giant ones that climbed toward the sun. And God looked at it and he said, it's very good. But God wasn't finished by just making the plants. Next, he made living creatures so small you could barely see them. And then he made fish, he made birds. And guess what else, boys and girls? He made giant dinosaurs. He made swimmy creatures. He made crawly creatures. And he made creatures that could fly. He made whales and dolphins and yes, even those long-necked giraffes. He made giant sloths and woolly mammoths. He even made monkeys. Little ones, big ones, howling monkeys, swinging monkeys, a monkey so small they could sit in a teacup. And God looked at all this and he said, it's good. But God wasn't done. The creatures God made was amazing. Some were beautiful. Others, in our opinion, were little, were kind of funny looking. Some were very tall. Others were very, very short. Some had long necks. Others had short necks. Some had fur and some had feathers. Some had big teeth and even tiny beaks. 
but none of the creatures were like God. They couldn't think the way God thought. They could not feel the way God felt. They could not act the way God acted. And the friendship God had with himself, the forever friendship that he always had been and will always be, these creatures could not join in that friendship. They couldn't join God as a family. So God said, watch this. And then he made something truly special. Boys and girls, do you know what this, this special creation was going to be? You're right. It was you and I. It was Adam and Eve. A creature that could think, feel, and act like God could think, feel, and act. A creature that could join God's family, God made us. He made us. Isn't that a wonderful story, boys and girls, of knowing that that's exactly what God did? He created everything that we see. All the things that we enjoy about this earth, God made it. And he created us in his own image and gave us that ability to think and to reason and to smile and to be happy and sometimes be sad and sometimes to, to, uh, 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 to run and play and jump. God gave us all that because he made us in his own image and he loves us so very much. That's a great story, isn't it? Bow with me, boys and girls. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, for this day. For every boy and girl and parent and grandparent and, and all that are listening, uh, Lord, I just pray that we may each one just realize, Father, that everything that we see and enjoy upon this earth, it was a gift made by you for us. And the creation of this human body, Lord, how everything fits and works. Father, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Our scientists and medical people, they still are in amazement of how, Father, everything works like it does. Father, that's it's nothing short of a miracle because, but Father, I know you are the Lord of miracles. Lord, thank you for that. So Lord, uh, watch after every boy and girl and every adult this day. Uh, take care of them, Father. May they have a great remainder of the day and a good week this day. And, and be in your house tomorrow, worshiping you. For we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Boys and girls, see you next time. God bless.